Hey ladies and fellas, welcome to the studio M4G. Um, today I want to show you how you can set up the machine as good as possible with Ableton Live in a very nice way. First of all we have to set the Ableton Live. Um, I created here a machine track. And now the important thing is you have to create another MIDI track. Now we go to the MIDI routing. You can see here the MIDI input form. And this has to be set up to machine and not to the wave, to the MIDI setup. And the output routing of this track has to be sent back to the machine, not to the track in to MIDI channel 1 as we said then. The next step, I record the drum pattern in the machine directly. So the metronome has to be turned on, record. Okay. Well, this part is finished. And now I can drag and drop the track from the machine to Ableton Live. And therefore I have to make some settings. Pattern drag mode should set to MIDI. And the sound MIDI batch setup, as you can see here, um, is to MIDI channel 1, as we have rooted our track before, our MIDI track. And the root node is C1. We apply that. And then drag and drop the file to our MIDI track in Ableton Live. Okay, then I have to leave the scene on my machine and now I can play the track here from our MIDI track. Okay, now we have to set the MIDI track here to record on. We are able that we can control with the machine the track with a clip, which is uh, now running in Ableton Live and we can edit it. So I want to add some claps. And it's working. Um, and the cool thing is, I don't have to switch up to the MIDI control interface of machine. I can stay here and add some effects uh, and stuff like that. That's the cool thing about it. And now we can uh, see it here in the track. I have added the claps. And we can see here, following what I'm doing, we can see directly in Ableton Live. That's the cool thing. And that's what I want to show. So, goodbye.